morning guys, YouTube people, world everywhere, wherever, whoever, whatever, whatever, whatever. Welcome back to the channel, Half Fast 719. Um, <clears throat> got a lot to do today. Um, yeah. Um, got quite a bit to do today actually, um, or actually this, these days that I'm going to be off. Picked up some of these yesterday. These little uh, gate openers. Here are the uh, Mighty Mule 260s. So they go for like $299, basically $300 bucks at Home Depot, Tractor Supply, um, other places that I've seen. Um, yeah, so I found them on offer up, and a uh, guy was selling them for, I think he wanted 130 a piece. And but I, he only had one of these, and then he had a he had a two night a 260 and a 290 on there. I didn't know he had two of these, so I offered him 250 for uh, one of these, and then a 290, and uh, he said he would do 220 for two of these. He said, I got two brand new of the uh, 260s. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'll probably have to pull off the gate. I'll go out here to the gate. I know, I know, I know, I know this project needs to get done, but I got some steel for it yesterday. Some uh, 2 inch by 4 inch. Uh, tubing some more one inch by one inch and then uh, this uh, flat steel um, I think I'm gonna do two or three runners in the bed when I put the plywood over but whatever anyway uh, sorry guys I'm a little tired still um, did some started doing some weed whacking because the weeds were like all the way up to our windows did some weed whacking yesterday If you, uh, if you have a full-time job that beats you up, don't buy a house or property unless uh, nothing ever grows. So right now what I have is I built this. So I think it's kind of genius. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> anyway, just flop the D-ring over. Um, this gate automatically closes, which is why I built this. Um, but yeah, so anyway, what I, what you do, what I'm going to do is I'll mount the bracket here and then I'll figure out where it needs to go here. And, uh, what I'll do is I'll take a piece of steel, I'll take the gate off and I'll run a piece of steel top to bottom, hopefully get it in one of these lines. So I'm probably going to use that, uh, one inch square tubing and uh yeah that's why i built that because we used to kick a rock here and i think i broke a couple toes doing that that way um anyway so i'll do the piece of steel uh one inch tubing i'll take the have to take the gate off i'll have to figure out where everything's gonna fall and then i'll have to i'll probably put I'll probably put the wiring and the box and battery over here somewhere um, and then I'll have to run the wiring I'll have to run wiring to do a trench and run wiring under here otherwise I'll have to two, do two separate batteries and I don't really want to do two separate batteries so I might have to go get some uh, electrical tubing and uh, run it I haven't figured that out yet um, I'm just gonna uh, gotta get the tractor out um, man I'm, I'm scattered scatterbrained um, anyway this piece of tubing right here is gonna go back here I'm gonna get rid of this little cross thing and I'm gonna weld in it's gonna be gonna be like a 
a built-in bumper, I guess, at the end of the frame. But I'll get into that later. Um, I want to do the yard work because I'm going to be creating a lot of dust. And then i got to wash this car. i got to take it in to get a quote for parts missing, scratches, yada, 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 yada. Um, so yeah, I got a, I got a lot to do. Um, yeah, and then when I do that one inch tubing, um, I'll either do the one inch tubing or I'll do some of this. I might not have enough of this. I'll probably just do some one inch and then I'll just take some uh, remnant scrap quarter inch plate and I'll weld it to it and then this is adjustable obviously so anyway uh, yeah and then I'll have to figure out wiring to a battery which it looks like it looks like I can't run these on a single phase one battery um, or sorry single phase on its own so basically run one of these blocks um, for both of them there's a kit that you're supposed to buy for a dual gate um, but that one is I think it's 750 bucks so what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna take this take this apart and see what it looks like in there I can program both of them to one remote because um, they got the little flip little flip numbers like you can have it like one it's one two three 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 and you can have it in any combination you know one 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 three 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 whatever in there so that one remote will match for both of these openers um, however I think you have to have both boxes both boxes, these are the antennas for them. I'm gonna look into seeing if I can't take this apart. And if I could take this apart and just do one box on one side and then just run power, if this is just a positive negative in here. Um, actually, let's get a screwdriver. Let's open this up. Let's see, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything online that said it. Um, it just said for dual gate applications you can use this um, with one remote or uh, you could buy the dual kit which came with I think it just came with one box and a lot more wiring it came with a spool of wire um, anyway bear with me um, yeah, and I have a battery. I have two batteries on my toy hauler um, that need replaced, so they they work. They just don't have enough a good enough draw. Oh yeah, see, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run both. I'm gonna have to run both at the same time um, because you have. The relays, the capacitors, everything to put the amperage out to this positive, battery positive, negative switch. This is uh, I can't remember what that was for. Oh, it's a little speaker, <laughs> it's a huge old speaker. So you got the stall force. Um, so you got like from like one pound to ten pounds. Then you got the. Um, setting for how long you want it to stay open from zero or off so that you can just open it and it stays open which I'll probably leave it off or you got automatic so you can open it it'll stay open for 120 seconds and then it'll automatically close or obviously you turn the dial and you get a uh, uh, 60 seconds so um, there are also other connectors so this will be the solar panel or uh, the power coming in from the battery um, sorry uh, that will be solar panel or battery I can't remember um, but anyway uh, you can do the 
um, it's exit right there it says where when a car rolls up <clears throat> on the inside it'll go through a sensor you know on one side either side it'll go through the sensor and then the gate will automatically open up but I think uh, we'll just program them to our cars my wife's got the home link in her car home link in the Dodge home link in the Audi the only person that doesn't have the home link is the is the first gen the Cummins and uh, he'll have the remote <clears throat> um, this way I've been I've been planning on this this is I'm super excited to get these I've been planning on this forever and ever and ever I uh, keep putting it off because every time I save some money for a project like this because I knew it was gonna cost like 700 bucks every time I'd, I'd have to something would pop up something would happen and I'd have to cancel so I have those sitting in my eBay cart I have those sitting in an Amazon cart on my wife's um, unless she removed them I had them I thought I had them on there and tractor supply I had them sitting in my cart in tractor supply and uh, just kept waiting and waiting and then I saw these I jumped on them um, I actually saw them when I was out working and I didn't want to mess with the guy and I didn't want to watch them I didn't want nothing to do with them because I knew somebody else would buy them and uh, I got home messaged him he said he still had them and we made a deal awesome so anyway I'm not gonna do an install video for this video because it's already too long um, maybe I'll do an install video but I probably won't. I'll probably just install them and show you that they're installed and show you that they're working. Alright guys, anyway, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, like this video. If you don't like it, whatever, don't care. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.